God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why did I watch this movie? What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Review King MB, and this is a part of my 31 Days of Horror movie reviews. And I decided, because I have been watching these live-action Scooby-Doo films, TV movies especially, there was a direct-to-DVD movie connected to the Scooby-Doo franchise. It's called Daphne and Velma. This is a 2018 film that was directed by Susie Unessi. And I regret watching this fucking movie. This movie was bad. It was bad for so many reasons. I'm going to say this. I don't blame the two actresses. I kind of feel bad for these two actresses. You have Sarah Jeffrey as Daphne and Sarah Gilman. They're both named Sarah as Velma. And I will say that they try. They try to do their damnedest with the shitty material that they're given. And I'm talking about horrible, horrible dialogue crap that I don't think any actress, no matter how young or what level in their career they're at, would be able to pull this dumb shit off. They do the best that they can and they tried. I don't dislike them. I don't blame them. Although I will say that Velma is written to be such a bitch. (laughs) I mean... You see that Daphne and Velma, they've never met in person. You see that they're best friends over the internet. And Daphne, you find out, she's moving to the same town as Velma. So, oh great, they get to hang out, they get to be friends. But when Daphne gets there, Velma's just a bitch. She's just avoiding her, ignoring her. And whenever they do interact, she's being mean and just basically saying, I don't want to talk to you. Get away from me. I thought it was going to be because Daphne is the typical hot girl and Velma figured she's going to come here and she's going to ditch me. She's going to go hang out with the popular girls. So I might as well cut her off now before she hurts me. And that would have still been messed up for Velma to do it. But at least that would have been something. Some substance. No, you find out that she just doesn't want to interact with her. Because Velma's doing her own investigation. And she doesn't want to get Daphne involved. You didn't have to be a horrible human being to her in the first place. You could have clued her in. I mean, if she's your best friend, then you could have told her. Like, it's ridiculous to not tell her. It's this forced conflict that just doesn't make sense or make anybody look good. And also, if (sighs) she's just rude. Now, I kind of appreciated Velma being a bitch to the other characters in the movie, the other girls, especially this one girl who's mean to her first. So it's like, okay, well, she deserves it. But I just didn't understand her being mean to Daphne. I just I just thought it was silly. Speaking of silly, Daphne's father. There's this side plot of Daphne thinks that she has good luck. That nothing bad ever happens to her. That whenever she goes to school or goes to do something, good things just happen to her. And I thought, okay, that's a very weird characteristic. She's just lucky. It's like that girl in Deadpool 2. But you find out early on that the father uh, stalks and follows Daphne, follows his daughter around to make sure that her days are perfect. And I'm just like, that's fucking weird. That's more weird than I think they were letting on. This just... I think they were trying to be silly or goofy or funny, and it was none of those things. It for damn sure was not funny. So that was awkward. 
that was very cringe. And there was plenty of scenes and moments that were cringe. Velma has an aunt that works at the principal. And they try all of these goofy situations when the girls get caught trying to investigate something. And every time somebody thinks that they're doing something bad and they constantly are getting in trouble by the principal but i just didn't care for this running gag for this dynamic and the mystery holy damn the mystery that's going on is so weird and so blah so uninteresting the smartest kids in the school are being hypnotized to go into a locker and then they disappear and then when you see them the next day they're just acting like zombies or they're acting you know they're not as smart as they were and i just didn't care about any of this i thought this mystery was lame i thought this mystery was uninspired the writing in this movie is atrocious and i couldn't help but compare it to something that came much later I'm talking about Wednesday. See, Daphne and Velma, on paper, decent idea. I mean, you don't really need the other members of the Scooby gang, even though it's called the Scooby gang. So maybe Scooby-Doo does need to be involved in some way. But Fred, least interesting character of the group. Shaggy, he's just the comic relief. Not a whole lot more to him than that. Scooby, vital. <laughs> sure. But Daphne and Velma, there is something that you could do with uh, two female characters and having their own hijinks before they ever meet the other group. I think that concept could work. This could have been a Netflix show in the same vein of Wednesday. But you needed stronger writing. You needed funnier writing. You needed just a better, uh, more serious mystery not that this couldn't be uh, family friendly but it's just man this feels disney Ch channel level and i've seen disney channel movies with better writing than the shit here they expected warner brothers expected people to buy this dvd sight unseen this movie had the nerve to end with a cliffhanger of teasing a potential sequel Fuck off with that bullshit. Nobody wanted to see a sequel. The third act has Velma fighting off a spider drone. And it was some of the dumbest shit that I think they thought was funny. I wanted to turn it off, but I saw that there was only like five minutes left by that point. I didn't need to see it, though. I didn't need to finish this movie. I, I'm not angry. I'm just annoyed. I'm more annoyed because I feel like I wasted my time. I feel like I saw something that has hardly any redeeming qualities. And I was being nice to those other TV Scooby-Doo movies. So I don't know how we fell off of a cliff <laughs> with this one. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you've heard of Daphne and Velma, the movie, not the characters, obviously. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Let the bitch bleed and I'm making a porno I'ma keep it going a few times for a bit